for another infamous rainforest creature. Phil de Vries has come from the University of New Orleans in search of an animal that is legendary in the annals of jungle exploration. It all began back in 1862 in this small office in the south of England. It was here that Charles Darwin first examined an unusual flower that had everyone baffled. An orchid from Madagascar that seemed to defy the laws of nature. This flower hid its nectar at the bottom of a long, narrow tube. It seemed inconceivable that any insect could ever reach it. But Darwin famously predicted that somewhere in Madagascar, there must be a gigantic moth with a tongue 12 inches long. Darwin's peers ridiculed him for his prediction. But 150 years later, Phil has rediscovered the famous comet orchid high in a tree. And now he hopes to show that Darwin was right after all. This is what Darwin was all excited about. Look at the size of that nectary. The moth has to have a proboscis that long to insert into there the beginning of the flower, the opening, down this tremendously long nectar spur just to get the reward, which is right at the bottom of that. The question is, will the strange flower act as bait to attract the world's most remarkable moth? Up in the tree, he rigs an infrared camera. If the moth appears, it will be in the dead of night. But Phil's camera can film in total darkness using infrared light invisible to the moth. There are no guarantees. Only 10% of Madagascar's original rainforest remains. This jungle is so disturbed that from one year to the next, no one can be sure that the moth still exists. After dark, the flower acts like a beacon releasing a trail of scent through the forest. The infrared light is turned on. The flower in the tree and fill on the ground are bathed in a light visible only to our cameras. Now, all he has to do is wait. And wait. I gotta move this leg. It's dying. But eight hours into his stakeout, 142 years, seven months, and five days after Darwin's prediction, all his efforts are about to pay off. Oh, there it is. It's hovering. It's hovering in front of the orchid. There it is. The tongue. Look at the tongue's coming out, man. Amazing. Look at that. to find the opening. There it goes, it's in. It's drinking. Yahoo! <laughs> Never thought I'd live to see that. Darwin dared to predict such a bizarre creation could evolve in the jungle. Unreal. Look at that. And it's required a combination of modern technology and a lot of old-fashioned patience to finally reveal the creature in action. This is certainly a good place to look for extraordinary creations. 90% of the